You've got this panel on both sides that's got clips in it. Pop them both off out of the way, and that whole section okay. will lift out of there okay. to get access to the battery. Then over here, where your battery tender plugs in, and there's a little laminated button, so if they ever lock you in a trunk, you can hit that little button and let yourself out. No. Okay. You might fit it now. We can pop it in. <laughs> now, if you do have your battery tender plugged in there, when you shut this, uh -huh. 
replacement is one hand. Okay. That way, you're not paying too large. Okay. But if you don't grab it, always make sure. Is there like a warning light though that'll tell you it's not? It will be in the car, yes. It will. if that was a smudge or a scratch. Like... Deflates it. Then you're feeling lonely that day. You push that one in the top. Oh yeah. And the boasters will come in and give you a little hug. Yeah. Like and then that. the bottom deflates it. And since you've never had one of these, if that main barrier that goes out, all these doors are electric. Here's the way you would get out of the car. Okay. Raise that up and it'll release the door. Okay. Then here's your unlock to get out of the car. Okay. You push the button and push the door at the same time. Okay. And the reason you do it is because the doors are electric. If you hit that release, it just opens the jaws and then you let go and it just clamps it back. So you got to push the button. Okay. And then there's a lock. You know, pick it up down a little bit. Oops. I, 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 
you've got a third part that's in the trunk, you've got the key fob, and then you've got the buttons I showed you. Put the two buttons under here. And you don't have to hold you just push them and they'll pop. Okay. So there's your door. Push the button, push the door. Lock and unlock. Okay. Here's your top. Control for the top. Now put the top up or down from that side. It's either going to be running or in accessory mode. And I'll show you how to do that. Just remember if you want top down, you push down. If you want it up, you raise up. And keep holding. Just like that. And what's the, what's the speed for the. If you're moving. It says under, 30 miles per hour. But I would. Well, a gust of wind or somebody <laughs> pass you and it could be folded up in, yes. on the ground somewhere. Then this. One next to the top is that back window back there. That's as low as it'll go. Okay. It raises it up and down, and even with the top up, you can lower, lower that down. Okay. okay. Nice. And then here's your two side window. Okay. This holds your mirrors in, and we can program it in the car later. Or that once you get out and lock it, they'll automatically fold it. I like that feature. Yes. Then here's your left mirror, right mirror, and how to adjust it. Alright, you got your recliner. Yep. That one. The one parallel to the ground and back one and back. forth. Okay. Two fingers up, raises it up, and two pushes down. Okay. And then there's the four little knobs, the very front one. Blows the lumbar up. It just takes a Then the back one releases it. Then the top one. Feel it coming in on the curtain sure road. Yeah. Yes. And then the bottom one opens. Nice and, nice and snug. Yeah. Won't go anywhere. And then, like I say, since you've never had one, if you're ever in this and the main battery goes out, you raise that up and allow the door to open. Oh. Okay. Is that on the other side as well? Yeah. yeah. Now, if that main battery ever goes out, it's up front. That's electric. But. You would literally have to lay down and put your head about where your feet's at, but in the front far wall, left of the brake, up pretty high, is a cable that's got a loop in it. Pull it two times and it'll pop. The front front. Okay. Okay. I'm going to show you now how not to put it in accessory mode, then I'll show you how to put it in okay. accessory So we don't want no feet on the brake, we don't want her to start, but there's the start button, just push it and release it. Basically, all you've done there was just turn the radio. So push it again, turn it off. Now, to get it in accessory mode, push it and hold it till the dash lights up. Keep holding, don't give it up. There you go. Now you can let go. Now it says number one. Keep You've got a in and out and up and down on your steering wheel. Yes. Now, here's your parking brake. They put it down there. Go ahead and push it in and release it. And it'll show you parking brake set. To okay. release the parking brake, put your foot on the brake and push it again. Now, this is so okay. There's a black knob there just above it. You rotate that to the lamp. It just bends your bend. Roll it all the way over. What I'm going to do now is shut the door so you just have to listen to one ding dong instead of two in the car. And when I do that, adjust your mirrors, steering wheel, and seat where you want them. And then we'll program it. And watch it. Lily. I'll just tell her. I like the little black back window back there. That's pretty nice. Little yeah, air. Um, watched a lot of YouTube videos and it mentions the sound control too. So oh. the wind as it blows through. You can, you can adjust Sneak. it. Sneak. good. This is so much fun. So much fun. You got everything set? I think so. Alright, go up here and get. Set. 
Push it. Now, number one. There you go. And you can do the same thing. Yeah. If he lets you ride, you can hit set number one over there when you're riding with him. But then later, when you get in here with the number two key fob, then you adjust all this and you hit set number two. Can you see a headset display? Okay. I cannot. So I have to move it. Right? Uh, oh, yeah. No, I can't. Right here's your three controls. I can't see it. Okay. Wiggle that first and up and down, and that'll move. Fall right in the center. Okay. Then the middle one just changes the screen. There's three screens you can see. You want to be around tack and your speed and g-forces. The other one will be uh, what gear you're in and your speed, and then the third one. It'll have a, a posted speed and your speed okay. and some G-Force. Right, switch every one of them and you click up. Yep. Then the third button in that row over there, if you push down on it and hold it, it dims it, raise up, it brightens it. Very good. And we got some vents for you. Air to blow out. You got there the one under the radio and actually has two vents over there. Okay. And you the black button in the middle of them just opens your glove box. Yeah. Press that right there. Oh, okay. Like soft. Can you do that again? Oh, it's a soft in there too. <laughs> wow. Fancy. Here's your lights. are set on automatic. Flash, flash, pull it towards you, brighten and dim and click it for you. Okay. All right. And then when you're weaving in and out of traffic, if you just fire the lift up, it brings three times it quits. Okay. If you raise it up till it catches, then you've either got to turn and cancel it or Okay. Typical General Motors windshield wipers. Pull that towards you, release it, it washes the lights twice. You push it straight down and let go, it just wipes one time. Raise it up one click, and something you need it, and it's just going to be there. Another click up, it's on all the time. Okay. Here's your paddle shift once you get her broke in. Down shift, up shift. Now one thing is we'll let you do, after you get her good and broke in, you're sitting at a red light. And if somebody pulls up beside you, you can eat the people out. And they're still sitting there in drive. If you pull both of those paddles in and hold them, right. it, well, it would be in you know, since you're in drive. Yeah. And that, that D would start blinking, but at that point you can rip motor. It's like master plus. Just remember if you do that on a hill, it's gonna roll, so you better keep foot on the brake. Yes. Okay. Then let it idle back down and let go and okay. drive off like a normal person. Very good. Here's your cruise control. We got on and off. That just kicks it out. If it's on, that emblem. Then the tour driving road will be there, sport it'll be over here, but if it's on, that emblem will be. Okay. There is no button to set it as in. There's a little lip on that that rolls down or up. And it doesn't have adapters, so if you come up behind somebody, you have to put on the brake, that will kick it out of here and keep you switch close to it. Okay. And then when you get where you can resume, just put that button up and resume. Here's two favorite buttons for your radio. Two volume buttons for the radio, and this is also a volume button. Okay. So those buttons pull towards you. That way you don't have to let go when you reach over. Then over here, top button, heated steering wheel, which I thought was the biggest waste of money because my wife got one that had that. And I'm like, okay, I like it. Then that middle button is to answer the phone, and the bottom is to hang the phone up. Okay. Later on, we'll get you phone programmed into this car that's where you can hit that right. button and talk straight to your phone and say, you know, play my music, call somebody, text them, or whatever. Okay. Five miles on the car. Last time it was running, it was 124 degrees. That's what needs to be 175 to check you out. Okay. There's your tour driving mode. You got about 400 miles of fuel left. And you're headed north. There's the posted speed. Okay. Now, this little computer here is controlled by these buttons. Now, there is no buttons, but that just means that button rolls and it goes straight in and straight out. Okay. They reset that 
if you just take your thumb and push that button straight in, hold it about three seconds. Well, hit it again. Yeah. You can do it two different ways. Just hit it again. Or if you held it in, well, roll the thumb. Just roll the button down now. Oh, We've reset that. Gotcha. Now there's trip number two to reset it. You push your button straight in and hold it about three seconds. Pushing into your enter. Can't do it that way. So yeah, okay. you can do it either. either. Okay. And then uh, roll it down again. This bar over here will tell you how many different places you got to go. Okay. Look there, who needs electric cars? Average 2.8 miles to go. <laughs> but that's your last 50 miles, and since you've only got five, it's not really a true reading. But if you ever want to change that, just real quick, push that button in and let go one time. So it's sitting on 50 miles, you can roll it down to 450 or 25. Okay. And then push it in again. Oh, you know what? I think you have to go left to go up. Yeah. Right? Okay. And then that shows you the best. So roll that button down again. We've got to... There's your timer to reset that. Push, push that button in again real quick. Yeah. You can reset the timer on both of them. Okay. Really, you don't even have to mess with that one. Okay. okay. So, back up. Now, roll it down. We got one more place. The reason I said you didn't have to reset that other one, every time this car starts, the timer starts, distance and fuel economy. We have to keep up with it every time you shut it off and start it back. Okay, so every time I, I shut it off, I just start Makes sense. So roll that button down again, and it goes back down. Now we got to take it to the right one time. Now, there's, once you get a broke in, one and a half fast to go from zero to 60, you put it there and stop the gas pedal, and it'll count it, it'll time it for you. Okay. When that gets boring for you, push that button in two times right there. Now you can actually push it again. You can set that zero to whatever speed you want it. Uh, yeah, now come back to it. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay. Come back. Okay. Okay. And then roll it down to then so you push it in. So later on, you know, okay, it'll go 0, 60 in 2.9 so seconds. You can calculate it from 40 to 60 yeah. or 60 to 80. Yeah. And, uh, Very good. Yeah. So, all right, we have this. Yes. Back up one more time. Then kind of see that area back there. Back up again. All right, now roll the round button down. There's your lap timer. Roll it down again. There's G-forces. Okay. I tell people, if you think you've got to look at G-forces or not, you watch, you need to watch roads. <laughs> True. And then roll it down again. And you basically have three options in there. So click to the right again. Only, that's, that's your radio there. You can do it up there or use those buttons. Or, so click to the right again. Remember I said change going 75, 100 miles or if that whole lot percentage gets down to 20%. Okay. And that transmission fluid and filter, live. Roll that round button. Yep, come back. Roll it down. There's the air filter live. Roll it down again. Just to tell you the last time the car was running, it was about under 700 RPMs. The car has actually ran for 1.3 hours and idle for an hour. And then roll it down again. Now, click to the right. Now, display design, it is this dash here. And you have to go through the driving modes to you see how they change. Okay. But if you wanted, if you like one of those other dashes later, you can go in there and push that round button and just click it. See, right now, it's linked to drive. But roll the round button down. If you like this screen, roll it down again. There's four track and all. And I'll, like I say, I'll go over that with you again later. Let's just click back. Now roll it to the info top select, push it in. Now it says deselect. These are considered your tiles. 
Okay. So hit, hit that button and deselect. Here's your choices. You can do any two and roll on down through them there. Battery voltage, length and slip differential, fuel economy, G forces, oil pressure, oil temperature, time and temperature, power status, and You can put any two, so since it's new, I would go to oil pressure. Now you got one more. You can put whatever you want, tire pressure or something, whatever you want. In that tour driving mode, that's what you'll see. Okay. You can change every driving mode for what two things you want to see. So do I have to go back and see the tile selection for each side in order to switch to the modes? Yeah. Okay. Well, you don't have to. They'll be in there, but you can put, you may not want Okay. What the factory is set in there for you. Okay. The only exception is in the track mode, you get four. So okay. figure you're racing and you need a little bit more speed. Sure. Uh, get the arrow back towards me. Roll it down to speed warning. Push it in. Don't push it anymore. But if you did push it again, you can actually go in there and set a speed that once the car gets over, it'll let you know you're going to. Okay. Hopefully, you can figure that. Get the arrow back. And you need to know where we're at the time pressure we've got here. So that's all of that little computer. Now, one more. Driving late at night, you go over to simplify, push the round button in, and give it a second, and it'll get rid of that. It just simplifies oh. that. Okay. Then you want it back, push that round button in, and now she's back. That's all of this little computer, so if you want to bring all this back, just right here. Yeah. All the way back. Because wherever, you know, wherever you leave it, it's going to okay. pop up. Very good. Okay. Of course, it's speak to it. Then also, there's about an inch on the beach at the other side, spring it over. Nope. That's if you got a radar detector. Okay. There you go. That's cool. Put your finger under that D and lift it up. And then reverse is the same way. Okay. Very good. Once you get a broke in and want to use manual, you have to put it in drive first, then hit the manual. Okay. That's when we use the paddles. Yes. Okay. Now, this is a little hand rest. This changes your driving modes. Okay. A little knob. So go ahead and rotate it to the left one click. One more. This is as far left as we can go. You see the little snowflake that says weather? Yes. All right. If it's raining or slick for any reason, that's where you want to drive. Okay. It slows brake, steering, RPM. and gas yeah, slows you okay. down where hopefully you're not as out as it is. Okay. So now click to the right and see the little statued head. That's my mode. We'll be able to program it. I did this morning for Very me. Good. Okay. And then click it again. There's your tour driving mode. We'll see how something that'll change. Yep. Right. Now click it again. Now watch it really change. It's the There's good mode. Sport. Okay. All right. Then click it again. The best mode. Okay. Track mode. Now you don't want to drive this thing out on the highway in track mode because it stiffens the car up. Yeah. So, so in track mode, does the uh, <laughs> the AFM does that disengage the? In the track mode, no. Until you push that button right there, and then okay. there's your not, traction control. So not the traction control, but the the active fuel management where it will kick back down the four cylinders. Yeah, I'm on track mode. Track mode, it keeps it in eight yeah. all times, right? Okay. So, 
then like I say, you've got four tiles up there that you race it. Okay. So like I say, if you like that dash better, that's when you go over here to that. And then all you have to do is roll it down to the track mode and if you push it in. A lock on that. Yeah. Okay. But right now, currently it's just set whatever driving mode. Okay. You got. So you've got weather, my mode, touring mode, sport mode, track mode. There you got the little silver bullet over there, the Z, so I'll push it in. And when it's lit up, this is what it's going to drive. What I probably need to do when we'll look over there to make sure it suits you. Okay. What that'd be good for if I live 15 miles from me, I said, hey, have a barbecue, come on over, and 10 of it's interstate. The last five going to my house, a little crooked and hilly. Uh -huh. Well, when you turn off interstate, you hit the Z button, and then it'll set the car up for how you want it to handle and drive. And then when you get back to the interstate, you turn it off, hit that button, go ahead and hit it again, and it'll be off to the toilet. Okay. Very cool. So the Z that was named after Zora? Very cool. Uh, up here is your traction control. And we'll show you the third of the side. And you can actually. Two times, and it's, it's like put seat you indicator in. for track traction off. Okay. Yeah, it's off and it's angled for performance. When you get in this, you start turning. Hundred percent of hundred percent of driver's car. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here's a little home. Well, there's the front Ash, Ashley. So there's a button right here for the front camera. So that's where you can see, I want, you know, always back in the spaces, right? But if you ever happen to pull forward, it's good for the uh, curbs. Now, this here ladder, it's in to show you how wide you are. You can turn them off. They're pretty handy to see how wide yes. you are. This one here is still the front, but it drives me nuts. Oh, geez. Yeah, yeah. there's three cameras. Well, up here's the real one. Those are angled out. Okay. You look how close your post is there, but when you look, it looks like it's, it's in front of you definitely out of the yeah, way there. Yes. Then that middle one, that's okay. the one you want to see. Okay. These other two are just the back. Of course, when you put the car in reverse, it's going to show you the back. That's your front. Now go ahead and hit the little home button up there. Uh, hit audio. Got search up channel, okay. down the channel, or if you know the exact number, you can poke it in. Okay. I've got it the, the sound here. I put in a bass treble in mid range, page of speakers. Okay. See if it's. Here's XM. I did low some 60s and 70s. I didn't know how old you were going to be, but. So that's a good system. It's Very good. And then uh, in this same thing, you can go up, channel down, or you know the exact number. Okay. You can, you can poke it in. The related button, if you see that on the FM or XM, it'll find you eight channels related to what you're oh, listening to. Okay. That way you don't have to stand too long. Okay. That's neat. Okay. Hit the little home button. And there'll be a home button down here. Hit your telephone. You got your phone in? I do. Now remember, all you got to do is slide it down in here, face out, and it'll automatically. So 
the little green lighting boat. That's charging. I mean, it's charging. Okay. Uh, do you want to set your phone to the car? Absolutely. All right, go to settings and Bluetooth. All right, now go up here and hit connect phone and then add a phone. Look for my Chevrolet out down through there. Ooh, we have other Chevrolets, yeah, so... Still down the bottom. Oh, there, there we go. There we go. Okay. There we go. Get a pair there. Okay. Pair up here on the screen. Okay. Okay. And then that'll ask you to... There we go. Use car player. There you go. Phone's hooked into the car. Excellent. Eight hours away. So you can get up on the phone, but I'll show you what you do is once you get going down the road, hit that little button and hold it. When that comes up, and okay. then you can talk straight to the phone. Perfect. Okay. So you hit the little home button again. Okay. There's navigation, it's got its own. As long as you can make the wrong star. It's the same thing up there, type in the street. Okay. All that. You can save it as favorites or just hit go. Okay. Just back in. Wi Fi hotspot, we don't let that. Much. You got to go and set usernames and passwords. Absolutely. Okay. There's your user profile. You can go in there and create a profile and say key file number two can only and put in these restrictions. Okay. What I tell people if I got to put in restrictions, I probably wouldn't let them drive it anyway. <laughs> True. <laughs> yes, that's a good rule. Hit the home button. Now we get into some good stuff. Go to settings. All right. Time attempts you don't have to worry about. If you do Ashley's phone, go into the systems okay. and go that way. We'll add her there. Okay. Yeah. Then apps, we don't have to worry about. I did do. Got the audio pilot on Bose in. And you can actually, there's two pages of favorites you can save, but you can actually go in there and do 20 favorites. Okay. Most people don't listen to that many different things. Now hit the vehicle. Now we get into the vehicle. There's green light on, that means it's on. Buckle to drive. What's that mean? That means if you get in this car and start it and do not fasten your seatbelt for 20 seconds, you can't put it in here. Oh, wow. Okay. That's, that's a good 21 feature. seconds, you can drive off, but cool. you'll be jumping in it to move it in your driveway and go. Transmission's tore up and it'll dawn on you. Oh, I got to fasten my seatbelt. Okay. Hit the drive mode customization. Remember your little Z button? Hit yep. it up here. Hit it up here and I'll show you what I'll load. I'll load your deck. Steering's and sport, suspension and brakes, all is sport. Okay, so if I go over, is it going to be stiffer or softer? It'll be, well, you don't want to go in track mode. You don't want to drive it in track mode. Though. Right. Yeah, let's see. I'll show okay. you some brief side. Okay. And the steering. To the right, there. would it be more stiff? Okay. Like the go car. Yep. And then, like I say, the brake is on the sport. The engine, this engine's going to shift quick, and the engine's going to be as loud as Okay. You happy with those settings? Very happy. Hit, hit the air back. Now, my mode, remember that was a little statued head down there? I put the steering at sport and the brake still at the same. Okay. It's a Z mode, but I did soften the suspension up and the left engine flat. Okay. And it's back up. Now those are the only two you can change. The others are set at the factory. Okay. And you can't change them. This visualization is turned on and all that means is anytime you change the driving mode. Now it'll show you what the settings are in that mode. Okay. You won't be able to change them, but you can see. Okay. Now climate there, Clark. All the green lights are on, so fan set on medium. So okay. if you get in the car and got the thermostat set at 70 and it's 80, the cool seats will automatically kick on. Now, comfort and convenience. You've got the time volume. That's just when you lock it. 
the call chirp at you, you know, if you leave keys in it, you can adjust how loud you want it to okay. talk back to you. Get the air back. Then there's your reverse tilt mirrors, and go ahead and hit it. So, like if you had the parallel park on this side every day, you want to fix that one where it's turned down so you wouldn't tear a wheel. Okay. But now it's on. Get the air back. And there's your remote folding mirrors if you want to hit that. Now, when you get out and lock the car, they'll all Okay, I would like to have that on. Okay. Well, that's actually if you're walking away from the car, you're like in the lobby. All you gotta do is put back. That's true. Yeah. Yes. Back up. It's gonna put his name attached to this kid. Now, I'm sorry, but you can't put his name attached to this kid. There we go. Yeah. Blind spot indicators they've never had for the C8. Okay. Then you've got park assist alert and cross traffic. Okay. Now we can scroll down. You can do like that or oh. on the button. Okay. Lighting. The interior lights are set on 30 seconds. The only other option is a minute or two. 30 I seconds think is probably good. Yeah. Get the air back. All right. No locks for me. The feedback is lights and horns. The remote. All right, Boston. We'll start out at the back tire again, and then we'll go around the car, get some shots around the car. And 